Kai Clutch here, bringing you another moto vlog. Anyways, you want to mod out your bike, you want to do it yourself. Well, let me give you some tips and some tricks as I have a little knowledge in this area as I have, a, as I have started to uh, mod out my bike a little bit and make changes and whatnot and have dealt with aftermarket parts and all that jazz, 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 jazz. If you're getting into the do-it-yourself modifications, know you're going to have lots and lots of trouble and you have to be ready to do anything on the fly and have all types, types of tools on hand and get ready to buy more tools that you'll only need once for that one modification but you never know down the line you may need it again tools last usually a lifetime buying aftermarket parts i guess i could go through a list of the modifications i've done and the different troubles i've had either installing them or where i bought them and such such and such usually when i go to buy a modification for my bike i will go to google and i will type in 2014 CBR 600 double R because that's the type of bike I have and then I'll put parts after market parts such such and such I usually I used to have a bunch of bookmarks of favorite websites I had for buying motorcycle parts but when I got into computer I lost all those so I'm having to refine them but I know one really good website is Revzilla um, super sport bike market something like that I know is another one but anyways I go there and I usually just scroll for hours just looking for different parts that I might find and different things that I can do to better uh, either performance wise protection wise or just uh, cosmetically most modifications have been cosmetic such as the gold windscreen screws just a little modification that just brings out a little shebang out of your bike uh, gold bar and mirrors uh, and just the other day I put in gold um, wheel caps for where you put the air in which you know just little things like that that really just make it pop but even little things like that can really screw it up can screw up your day uh, such as um, well let me sp explain like right in front of you the screw mirrors and the bar and mirrors you think it's pretty simple but actually it had been a pain in my ass. So I went and I was like, oh, you can change the colors of your screws. That's pretty de neat. And so I bought some golden ones. They're like five bucks. Easy, easy buy, easy do, just unscrew, screw it. So I get them and there's only four screws, four screw slots, right? But they sent me like, let me think, um, quite a bit. Well, not quite a bit. But they sent me uh, like 16, 12, something like that, 6 and 6, 12. And I was like, why do I need so many? I only have four screws. Well, I come to my bike and I take the first two screws off and I put them in. No problem. Oh, let me start off by saying they're all the same size, the same depth. Well, I go to take out these and they're a lot longer than these. Big problem. Because all those are the same size as these. So I put those in and then I just set these ones in because they don't anchor quite right. They don't screw all the way in so they don't have an anchor point. But they, they stayed in. They seem like they're staying in pretty well. Well, as I'm going down the freeway, just a little longer of installing them, this one flies out. Whoop, flies out, gone. No getting them back. But luckily they sent me 12. So I, you know, replaced it. Um, this time I really worked on it. I really put it in there uh, Because this uh, the one on my right was staying it was staying just fine And I did the same thing with the left one. So it should have stayed right well uh, No, it didn't flew out a second time. Ah, uh, well, I'm doing something wrong Obviously So let me tell you about my best friend electrical tape all I did Was take electrical tape and put it wrap it around the threads of that screw and then I just shoved it in the hole and really pushed it in there so the electrical tape got down in there and as you can see it's held up pretty dang well just like that about do it yourself get ready to make some weird modifications to it because nothing's gonna work perfectly especially if it's not OEM and it's not technically meant for your bike whatever 
because when you go to a website it says oh what is your vehicle type they should fit it and these said they should fit it well technically they do but only two slots and the other two but that one has stayed with no modifications this one I had to make modifications oh well it's in no one knows you go about your day no nothing. yeah so electrical tape comes in handy once again with my bar and mirrors. Let me tell you about my bar and mirrors. So I buy these and I was like, or not my mirrors, sorry, my uh, bar and handles. So I buy these, they're nice. They just gave me two, because that's all I needed. And they're nice and long like the other ones. So the OEM bar and mirrors have a screw right here that holds them in. So I unscrew that, I pull it out. Well, these bar and mirrors do not have that same screw. They just screw all the way in. Okay, well if they're in, they must be good. A little sketchier than my other ones. As I'm riding, uh, I come to stop and look down and they're freaking unscrewed way out. They're like, they're like way out to here. Like, unscrewed. Big problem, right? <laughs> So, once again, electrical tape. I just wrapped it around the whole thread, just gave it a little bit bulk and grip, and just shoved it in there and screwed it down tight, and they've worked fine since. No one sees the electrical tape, only I know it's there. It's fine. Just another do-it-yourself tip. Electrical tape is your best friend. Let me tell you about my frame sliders. I went ahead and bought the, uh, cut frame sliders because they're $100 cheaper. I didn't take it to the shop to get them cut. I was just like, oh, I can do it myself. But it didn't work out at all. The whole drill I had, because it was a big hole, you need a big hole, but I thought there was a little nut within the big one, which I just thought you cut out. So I cut out that little hole and tried to fit it in. Nope, you had to cut it to the dimension of the whole frame slider. Well, I had to go buy some tools from Lowe's. I had to go buy another hole cutter and still that didn't work. Luckily, my friend had a Dremel. And I was able to, it looks like a little uh, dentist tool that they use to drill your teeth. And so I just used that and I drilled out the rest and got it wider and wider to eventually fit on it. It looks like crap kind of, it's not a perfect circle, but you really can't tell unless you're close up to it. But frame sliders are in and they work just fine. <sighs> I mean, that, was a, that took an all day thing. That was such a pain in my ass. I can't even explain it. Exhaust, you know, exhaust doing it myself. Yeah, it's just a slip on. Uh, yeah, I could have taken it to the shop and had it done a lot faster. But I just, you know, me and my friend just did it. Um, just basic tools and some struggling with pulling it off, you know. But that was just pull off, pull on, you know. Yeah, I'm missing some screws and the heat shield sticks on by nothing. Do it yourself, just be ready. Um, know what you're getting into. Kind of read reviews if you can. Um, have basic knowledge of tools and such. If you absolutely cannot get the job done, just take it to a local shop, pay that extra the fee, the labor fee, whatever. I was able to do my clutch by myself. It was kind of hard getting the cable out and whatnot, but you know, it's just simple stuff. I mean, a lot of it's just simple. Motorcycles are small and easy to work on, not too complex. Um, not like a car with all that. They're a lot just easier to handle, which is why I'm doing it all myself, even though it is a new bike, but you know. So yeah, that's, uh, Pretty much my vlog for today. Uh, not much I can really talk about. I mean, I did Plasti Dip these, but that's just pull off spray on Plasti Dip. Simple, simple. Things like changing the wheel and stuff like that, changing the oil, I did take to the shop. I probably will change the oil next time myself since I was able to watch him and see what he did. You know, if I was to do headlights, you know, I'd take that to a shop. But man, that's basically it. Fender Eliminator kit, that was pff, simple. I was able to do that myself. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, don't forget to uh, comment, like, or subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.